Hello, and welcome to another thrilling episode of Rapid 7's Whiteboard Wednesday. My name is Corrine Wilson, and I'm the Product Marketing Manager for Application Security, something that's on your mind. You want to know why I know that? It's because I recently read a report that Forrester released saying that application security spending is going to reach in excess of $7 billion by 2023. Four years from now, the community is going to be spending $7 billion to secure their web applications. And the reason why this is so critical and why your organizations like yours are investing is just because web apps are a critical part of the customer engagement process. Customers interact very quickly. Your applications have to, have to be released very quickly. So as a result of adopting a CICD model, for this fast-paced change into production, but pushing things into production, um, security just can't keep up. As a matter of fact, DHS says 90% of incidents result from an exploit based on software defects. So adapting tools that can, can, that can integrate within your CI CD process can be very, very challenging since there's so many out there. Where do you start? As a matter of fact, choosing multiple, up to eight different components of your application security is very common in a mature application security program. But if you're just starting out, what are you going to invest in? Well, the US CERT actually has four foundational solutions that you can start with, depending on what your, your priorities are. The first one is SAS, which is essentially a white box application security testing tool that tests what you know, your code, your source. DAST, which is a black box capability, is essentially testing things that you don't know anything about. You have no visibility into the source code. You can't access it. Software composition analysis actually tests third party or open sourcing code. Um, and then finally, a, a database scanning, which essentially checks for uh, patches and, and weak passwords and so forth. Now, there is one other that didn't make the foundational list, and that's IaaS. And the reason why that's probably a little bit more complex is because the industry has not found common ground on how to define the I in IaaS and what exactly it does. So stay tuned for another Whiteboard Wednesday on that. So at the end of the day, if you can only choose one because you're just starting your application security program and you don't have a lot of budget, save the pen testing for post-production and your compliance requirements and understand what's in the market based on your, priorita your prioritization to mitigate risk and spend wisely. That's it for this week's Whiteboard Wednesday. We'll see you next week.